The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is proposing to list the fisher as threatened, uh, not just due to the small population size, but also due to the threats that they're facing, including wildfire, um, some vegetation management, habitat loss through vegetation management and other um, practices, and our more recent knowledge about the toxicants and effects of anticoagulant rodenticides. One threat to fishers that we didn't know about in 2004 was anticoagulant rodenticides. Rodenticides are used to control um, rats and other prey species in the forest um, that uh, would eat um, some of the plant species out there. At illegal grow sites, legal marijuana grow sites, it's a problem because they use massive quantities to control um, rodents in those areas and fishers and other species are being found exposed to these toxicants. And uh, we found them now, researchers have found them in California populations on public, private, and tribal lands. And so we're very concerned. It's a threat we didn't know about in 2004 about what this means to fishers. Fishers have been part of the Pacific forest landscapes for thousands of years, but they have virtually disappeared from Oregon, California, and Washington. The fishers that remain exist in small, scattered populations in Northern California and Southern Sierra Nevada area.